بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ابنائنا طلاب الصف الثالث الثانوي قسم الرياضيات لغات معاكم سامي فاضل كبير معلم الرياضيات لغات بالوزاره ومعاكم زميلنا الفاضل استاذنا العزيز محمد عبد الوهاب مقدم برامج الرياضيات في التلفزيون وخبير رياضيات لغات بالوزاره النهارده ان شاء الله طبعا كل سنه وانتم طيبين بامر الله ان شاء الله النهارده هنبدا منهج الاستاتيك آه وبامر الله نستفيد والناس تركز معانا وان شاء الله آه الموضوع بسيط وكويس ماده الابلكيشن آه او الابلايد ماس من المواد اللذيذه جدا لانها بتمس حياتنا وبتمس الواقع اللي احنا عايشين فيه بنبدا بليسون 1 في يونت 1 اللي هو ذا فريكشن فورس الفريكشن فورس احنا سمعنا عنها كتير هي فورس موجوده في حياتنا فورس دي بتظهر when we try to move a body on a rough plane سواء البلين ده كان horizontal plane او inclined plane we know if a body if a body is placed on a horizontal table then this body acted on uh, upon it by two forces the weight of the body and acts uh, downwards and the reaction of the table and uh, this uh, reaction equals the weight of the body so these two forces because they are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction so the body will be equilibrium in this uh, plane and uh, 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 reaction of the plane reaction of the plane uh, equal the weight of the body and this reaction or normal reaction when we try to move the body or pull the body on the rough plane so the friction force appears to uh, 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 try to stop the motion of the body this force in the friction force can be resolute or can be find the resultant of the two forces, the normal reaction of the plane and the friction force to the uh, force or the resultant reaction. When we talk about the friction force, we know that the friction force appears when we try to move a body on, an, uh, on a rough plane. It has to be rough plane. طيب مستر محمد عبد الوهاب الفريكشن فورس دي يا مستر محمد بتبدا من زيرو وليها ليميت الليميت فريكشن فورس يا مستر محمد اللي هي عباره عن ايه؟ ثانكس مستر سامي فريكشن فورس انكلودد اور بيلونجز تو زيرو نيو ار نيو ار از وات از ذا مينينج اوف ذا نيو Efficient of static friction force, or the action force. Then we deduce that static friction force belongs to close the interval zero mu r. So that static friction force appears when when the body about to move, about to move, and we find it in case rough blade in rough blade then we did use that f over r equals mu what is the mu mu coefficient of static friction force and we did use that f equals mu r then the interval close the interval zero mu r this static friction force belongs with this interval now we are translated to angle of friction. What about angle of friction, Mr. Sam? The angle of friction, it is the angle between the normal reaction of the body and the resultant reaction. And we said that the resultant reaction, symboled by R dash, is the resultant of the normal reaction and the, the limit friction force. A normal resultant reaction it is an angle between the resultant reaction and the normal reaction. The angle D is called the angle of friction. Okay, if I just draw the rectangle in front of me, the lambda, which is the angle of friction, 
included between R and R dash وخلي بالك أنا عاوز الطلبة تبقى عارفة الأسماء مش السيمبولز بس السيمبولز دي ممكن تتغير ممكن أسميها سيتا ممكن أسميها ألفا ممكن أسميها أنا عاوزك تعرف الاسم the name of the this angle it is the angle of friction what's R dash the resultant reaction what's R the normal reaction so this this uh, 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 means you know you have to know the the names of these uh, 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 forces so if you uh, look to this figure and we find the 10 10 lamba 10 lamba equal opposite over the adjacent the opposite represent the mu r and the adjacent represent the r so lamba equal mu r over r equal mu the center here and the 10 lamba 10 lamba equal mu so mu اللي احنا مثل محمد قال انها الستاتيك فريكشن كوفيشن بيساوي تان الانجل اوف فريكشن طيب مثل محمد عاوزين تراي تو كمبيوت اور كالكوليت ذا فاليو اوف ار داش وات از ذا رول اوف ار داش يو نو ذات ار داش از كولد ريزالتنت رياكشن ريزالتنت رياكشن سكوير روت ار سكوير بلس ميو سكوير ار سكوير We can take R square common side. We deduce that R dash equals R multiplied square root one plus mu square. If we find R dash, we must find the value of the action, normal reaction R, and value of mu. What is the mu? Mu coefficient of static friction force. What is R? Reaction force. As example. R equals 32 Newton. This R reaction, normal reaction, also mu equal quarter, then we can calculate R dash by using the rule. What is the rule? R dash or resultant reaction equals normal reaction multiply square root one plus mu squared by substitution about R equal 32 and mu 1 over 4, then we deduce that R dash equals 8 root 17 Newton. What is the equation of equilibrium of a body uh, placed on horizontal rough plane? The equation of resultant or the equation of equilibrium, we know that if a body equilibrium, so the component of forces acted on the body will be punished. So, if we uh, know that this is the tension force which try to move the body on a horizontal rough plane inclined to the horizontal at angle by angle theta so we can resolve the tension force into two cosine theta as a horizontal component and t sine theta as a vertical component was r so the equation of equilibrium f equal t cosine theta and R plus T sine theta equal W. And by substitution by the numbers, we will uh, uh, calculate uh, any uh, thing he asked about. It. So, now, very important remark. Uh, and this remark asked uh, before in uh, exam, I, I think, uh, uh, 2017, what is the static coefficient friction depends on? The static coefficient uh, friction depends on the nature of the two surfaces. Yani, so, this static friction doesn't depend on the mass of the body or the volume of the body, but depend on the nature of the two surfaces. عشان the surface هو اللي بيتحكم في ال ال الفريكشن بتاع الظبط طبعا احنا عمالين نسمع عن ستاتيك كوفيشن فريكشن ستاتيك كوفيكر طيب في دايناميك اور كاينيتيك كوفيشن فريكشن طبعا البادي وين وي موف وين ذا بادي موف عارفين دراستنا في الاستاتيك اباوت اور اون ذا فيكسد باديز اور ذا ستاتيك باديز سو هنسمع كتير ذا بادي اباوت تو موف ذا بادي اباوت تو سلايد ذا بادي اباوت تو start to motion ولكن البادي doesn't move طب لو البادي ده will move هيبقى في motion للبادي هيبقى في friction بس بنسميه في الحالة دي kinetic friction 
او ميوكي طيب ملحوظه بقى كده مستر محمد وات از ذا كومبيرنج بيتوين ميوكي اند ميو اس ثانكس مستر سامي وين كومبير بيتوين ميو اس اند ميوكي وي نو ذات فاتيك فريكشن فورس مور ذان كاينيتيك فريكشن فورس ذن وي ديو ذات ميو اس مور ذان ميوكي ميوكي كاينيتيك كوفيشن اوف فاتيك فريكشن فورس ذن وي ديو ذات New S more than new K. Why? Because F S more than F K. Now we are translate to example. Look at my dear students. The first example. Karim pushes a box full with box to his car. If the weight of box and the box is 124 newton, and static friction coefficient or new is 0.24. What is the magnitude of the pushing force which makes the body is about to move? Remember, my dear student, mu s 0.24 w of the weight equals r. We have two equations, vertical equation and horizontal equation in an equilibrium. Therefore, w equals r equals 124. Look at horizontal equation f equals mu r by substitution about mu s equals 0.24 multiply r 125 and 124 answer is 55.8 newton now we are translate to another example. another example my dears a body of weight 15 kilogram weight is placed on our center of pain our central force of magnitude 5 kilogram will act it makes it about to move find the coefficient of friction between the body and the plane and uh, full stop now my advice to you try to solve the first part of the questions يعني ما تقراش الاكزامبل كله هو طلب منك حاجه he asked you to find the magnitude of the force uh, the coefficient of friction between the body and the plane now we have equation a body of weight 15 kilogram weight and a horizontal force of magnitude 5 kilogram weight and the about our the body about to move so the equilibrium equations is r equal 15 r equal w r equal 15 and the mu r equal 5 uh, pay attention that if a body about to move this force mu r is the limit friction force and uh, you have to know that there is a, 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 a very big difference between the friction force and the limit friction force the friction force may be less than five because as mr muhammad said it is a start from zero to close the interval zero to mu r so the friction force may be less than five but when the body about to move the friction force will attend to the maximum value or the limit value so the other equation five equal mu r by substitution by r equal 15 so mu equal 15, 5 over 15 equals 30. Now we will complete the second part of the question. Find the coefficient of friction and we find it equals 30. And if a body of weight 3 kilogram is increased on the body. Now we increase the weight of the body by 3 kilogram weight. So now we, we 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 need a more force to try to move the new body the new body will be of weight 18 15 plus 3 equals 18 he asked to find the magnitude of the horizontal force which act on the system which uh, which composed between uh, of the two forces 15 and 3 the, make the system as about to start the motion. So the new equation R T equal mu R T. This is the tension force, the new tension force with T equal third R 
So R and R equal 18. So T by substitution equal 18 multiply third or 18 over 3. So the new force is 6 kilogram weight, which enough to make the system about to move. Now with Mr. Muhammad to another example, but this example for you. Sorry, Mr. Muhammad, example 3 is for you. Try to solve it. And now with uh, Mr. Muhammad and example number four. Thanks, Mr. Sani. Uh, we can ask you, Mr. Sani, is new for static uh, coefficient, static friction force equals one, maybe equals one, or smaller than one? We know that new equals third quarter zero point two four. New S can be included between or belongs to close interval zero and new R. We can put new uh, maybe maybe equal zero, maybe equal fraction, maybe equal one in some cases. Yes, maybe in some cases. Maybe. Okay, thanks. Uh, example number four, one piece of weight ten yards based on horizontal tail and tied by horizontal string passes over small 